Hello and welcome to another episode in my Warhammer 40,000 Conquest series. In this episode we're going to be covering the painting guide in issue 37 and discover why it took me so damn long to do it. So before we get started, please make sure that you check out the links down below in the description. Uh, there's also some uh, links to support the channel. We've got Patreon, we've got PayPal, and we also got uh, an affiliate link for Forbidden Planet. So if you're fed up with waiting with Hatchet, click that link, go order your stuff for Mortal Realms or Conquest through them, get a bit of a discount. And if you order enough, you actually save money in the long run. Uh, even after postage which is awesome and I get a little kickback which is awesome as well uh, also please make sure you click the subscribe button and that little bell icon as well so you get notifications every time that I post a video so you don't miss a thing now let's get to the painting bit shall we okay so what we want to do is go over the, some details of our uh, Space Marines um, now as you go along you'll notice that you'll have some like chip paint and damage don't worry about this you can touch it up afterwards um, but essentially you just want to uh, go about and uh, grab the little bits of detail so we'll start with steel legion drab and uh, for the chaplain you want to paint up the uh, book of litanies that he has avoiding the straps if you can and just do a nice thin layer on there should be enough one layer but you can always put two if you've thinned your paint down enough and as you notice I've already gone ahead and painted the retributor gold on some of the detail there uh, but there's other details here that can be painted in that as well um, I'm also going to paint the book from the librarian as well because it helps to break up that red otherwise it will sort of just fall in to the details i will get a smaller brush as well so i can paint into there as well oh, i'll do like that but yeah you know what i mean um also very carefully uh if you've got a smaller brush you can do so but the you want to focus on the uh the string that's holding the skull on the uh, apothecary model as well um, and you'll, I will be focusing more on this model just to help uh, showcase um, some of the techniques that we're learning in this issue so just like that okay nice and easy right then we hop over to um, Tigrex Earth Shade. So once you've done that and any Rich Buta Gold uh, details that you need, you then hop over to Agrex Earth Shade. And with this, you want to shade in the uh, Book of Litanies and also the uh, string and everything like that. So just going over it like that. So you just get into all those recesses and you can get over the gold as well because you shade the gold with the Agrax Earth shade as well. Um, the pages would have already been shaded. And then also you want to go over the string as well, like so. It's nice and easy. Try not to go too heavy because you don't want to merge into the details of the skull. And uh, yeah. Should look something like that. Then we want to move over to the uh, Onion Camo Shade. Give that a good shake. And you want to grab your Lieutenant Calcius. We haven't seen this model for a little while. And uh, all the green details, if they're chipped, just touch them up. Uh, but you can see this one hasn't been chipped at all. So I'll just lightly put a layer of a phony camera shade on there. As you see, it really helps to make that green pop. And then all you need to do, if you put too much or you make a mistake like that, just 
rinse your brush off, dry the worst of that water off, and just soak it up with that clean brush like so. There you go. All right. Now is the time to go around to all your models and touch up the pieces uh, that are chipped and any missed details as well. So what I'd start with is um, go around with, don't bother with uh, the McCrag Blue um, because you're gonna be doing your recess shading and if you make any large mistakes with that, you can always just touch up with this. So save that for last. What I would say is go around with the Rakar Flesh and find any purity seals that you've missed. So that one's quite a sneaky one. Um, it's just behind the knee there. Um, any bones, um, details like that. Um, and then once you've done that, you can shade all of those with Agrax Earthshade. The uh, red seals as well, if you've got any of those missing um, that haven't been painted, shade them with uh, Agrax Earthshade as well. And then on the back, as you can see, um, you would have left it predominantly, uh, well, you know, blue. But the rim around here, the uh, the side bits here, and of course these bits and under there is all going to be painted in lead belcher. Um, so it'll look something like this. Now I've I haven't kept this bit blue because I kind of like the look of this more and it helps to break up the details a bit more and then once you've done that you just shade it with non oil and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool um, also if you see any piping um, like on here you want to shade those with uh, Agrax Earth shade the same with any of the uh, rope as well and if you've missed any of the rope while painting them up, then you just paint that in Mephiston Red and then shade in Agrax Earth Shade. Now, let's move on to, where's the uh, bone mask? Oh yeah, here we go. Bone mask, as you see, this one has been shaded with Agrax Earth Shade. So here's the comparison. There's the before and there's the after. As you can see, it's made that little bit of difference to help sort of um, em uh, emphasize the details and um, you can go as heavy as you like with it to emphasize it more or less it's up to you but there you go that's that now recess shading recess shading can be a pain and depending on what you're doing will depend on what brush you use now uh, unpopular opinion I think the smaller brush you use the better um, because that way you have more control over the effect that you have so I've been using my artificer layer I know it's the fine detail one uh, but I find I have more control with it I don't end up loading it up too much um, which means that I can get more control it does mean I've got to keep going back to the palette more often but I prefer that trade-off now you get your um, non oil and you use the same techniques that you'll use for uh, the Agrax earth shade on the reds for the helmets um, but I'll do it on this chap because he's got the blue and the thing so what you want to do is you put you put just enough on your uh, brush like that and then you use just a tip to guide some of that into the recesses like that now years ago when painting I would have just drowned the whole model in the ink that's what it was back then rather than the shade and then I would then paint back over it essentially having two base two layers of the base paint and uh, it did end up blotting out a lot of the details this takes a bit longer 
but the uh, the results are undeniably nice. So you just got to make sure. Yeah, and you, again, you can go as heavy as you like. Um, and if you got too much, you can always just move it around with the brush or soak it up with a clean brush. But yeah, you just do that. Don't worry if it comes out too much as well, because you will be layering uh, with a lighter shade. So you'll be able to cover that up later on. But yeah, you just go around, take your time, fill out those details. The shoulders are like the easiest bit to do. Just go around the rim like that. And it makes all the difference, really. And you can tell because that's the before, and this is the after. And as you can see, the uh, it really helps to define those details a lot more. So it's well worth taking your time. It does take quite a few uh, hours to do. I I think. Max speed painting, I could get four models done in an hour. So it took quite a few evenings to paint the entire collection. And uh, but once you start getting the the uh, the rhythm of it, your muscle memory starts to kick in, and you start speeding up on it. So it's all about getting that practice in. And that's that really. So you go along there, and then you're going to be using. The non oil for the whites so you will be using the non oil for the uh, apothecary as well so you know you just got to be a bit more careful because it will show up more but as I said once you're finished if there's any messes that you don't like you can always touch up so that's why I said don't worry about any chip paint because you're recess shading it's unlikely you're gonna come across any paint that's chipped that you need to re recess shade. So do the recess shading, then go back to it with the base color and just touch up around the edges like that, like so. And you just go around the edges and it makes all the difference, see? Right, so you do that. And then you use the Agrax Earth shade for uh, any reds, and then that's job done. So as you can see, there was a lot of little bits and pieces that needed to be done and it took quite a while to get around to doing it. 
you, you know, real life gets in the way and everything, but it's just doing the touching up here and there and the little bits of detail and catching up. And sometimes you miss the detail, so you have to have a look again. Um, but yeah, no, they look so much better now. Um, and they're definitely ready for those later paints, which we'll be doing very soon. Um, so let's get to the meat of it. This is really what you've been looking for. Our first community focus of 2020. So, you know, as discussed, I've been falling well behind with Conquest and uh, you guys are really showing me up. Even so that uh, our Conquest brethren in other countries who've only started, what, a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago even, are keeping up a hell of a lot better than I have. So let's have a look and get a nice catch up of what you lot have been up to with your Conquest series. So cue the montage. So there you go, as you can see, there's some fantastic bits of work there. Uh, there's so much inspiration to work on. Uh, so if you haven't started yours already, or you're, you're contemplating different paint schemes, or you know you just don't feel motivated, that montage has got to do it for you. If it doesn't, nothing will. Um, so thank you so much to everyone who participated in that. Uh, again, every time I do a painting tutorial, I will be doing a community focus as well to see what you guys are up to. And usually it's themed on what I'm painting that time. Like the next one is going to be the Plague Surgeon. So get those Plague Surgeons ready and uh, get those pictures all nice and sparkly. And uh, yeah, I'll be asking for those very soon. So once again, Thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure you check out all of these links here because uh, they all go towards uh, supporting the channel. And also, you guys don't get to miss a thing then. So that's a win-win for you. And lastly, before I go, don't forget to check out Big Mac Dan Skull. Even though Conquest is almost to close, we still got a couple of issues left. So check him out because he will always keep you up to date with those new issues. And... He's also doing Mortal Realms, so check him out. He's looking for Patreon support with that, so don't forget to give him a shout. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.